society were one big organism, then electricity would be its food. Everywhere you look today, people are drawing power to live their lives. Smartphones, lighting, air conditioning cars, trains, the internet, manufacturing plants, and whole cities. We are inextricably linked to electrons flowing through wires. Our world is made possible thanks to the electrical grid. Interconnected regional networks of more than 8,000 power plants send electricity coursing through millions of miles of power lines. This marvel of engineering powers residential, commercial, and industrial consumers in addition to critical infrastructure. It's a vast, stable system, but it's not impervious to outside threat. For decades, officials have warned about damage to our way of life that an attacker could cause by shutting parts of it down. A long-known threat is something called an electromagnetic pulse, or EMP attack, and in recent years have seen the rapid escalation in danger coming from cyber attacks. Either of these could trigger cascading failures across the system, causing it to collapse and knock out power to big swaths of the country. Telecommunications, Healthcare, financial, manufacturing, transportation, and other critical systems could go down for weeks or months. The country would rapidly descend into pre-industrial times. There's a continuing need to make sure that we are protected against electromagnetic pulse and any kind of electromagnetic interference. Sometimes we have debates over whether that's a Cold War relic, and I would argue it is not. In an EMP attack, a powerful pulse of electromagnetic energy is either fired by a satellite or released by the detonation of a nuclear weapon 60 to 300 miles above the Earth's surface. The voltage surge created by a high-altitude EMP can destroy electronics and cause catastrophic grid failures across the country. In 2017, a Senate committee held a hearing on the danger of an EMP attack. Officials agreed that it amounted to a threat to the national defense. We lack sufficient information to understand exactly what the probability is and what the severity is of attacks like EMP. Russia, Iran, and North Korea have or are acquiring the ability to produce a high altitude EMP. And now, a new cyber threat has become clear. Numerous countries, as well as non-state actors, are known to be probing U.S. power infrastructure networks for vulnerabilities, and some may already be inside. The Chinese have been in our system for a couple of years already, as have the Russians. They can very likely take it down pretty much at will. That's sort of the, the overall picture that you have to begin with. Officials acknowledge that some shadowy groups, like the one known as Dragonfly, have likely gained access to critical points of the grid and could launch a sabotage operation at will. James Woolsey, former director of Central Intelligence, knows the threats well. We are at war now with those who want to take down our electricity grid. He says, as a nation, we're not addressing the issue how we should. This country is not well served by the way the electric grid is protected or by the people who are doing it. How is the government responding to these threats? What needs to be done? And where are we falling short? Find out next.